Okay, so in, in this in this uh, demonstration, we're going to set up a VATA firewall with inside the, the uh, v vSphere infrastructure. Okay, so here's the setup, very basic setup. We'll just use static IP addresses just now, uh, but we can easily set up DHCP and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a uh, VATA firewall with three interfaces. One is uh, outside or public, one is inside, and another one is a DMZ. First thing that we do is we set up the three IP addresses of the interface. So in this case, this is on the 10.0.1.0 network. This is on 10.0.2.0 network, and this is 10.200.0.0 network. Okay, so we'll give each interface an IP address. Okay, so this is how we configure that in the Vieta firewall. Then what we'll do, uh, we also have a default gateway. We'll say this is the default gateway here. So any data packets that it gets that it can't actually route will go to that port and hopefully that port will be able to deal with them. So then what we have is uh, on each network we'll set up a Linux host here and a Windows host here. So with Linux this will set up our IP address of 10.1.0.1.7 and then we'll, set, we'll use uh, our Windows configuration panel for networking to set this address up. The default gateway should be this one for the Windows host and the default gateway for the Linux machine will be this one. Then anything that's on the local network it will be, won't need to be routed. But if not, then if it's for another network then the host sends to this gateway address and then the firewall will, will route it over onto that one because it knows that one's connected. Okay, so if it's successful these two machines will be able to talk to each other. What we'll do is we'll then disable one of the ports and then hopefully they won't be able to connect. Okay, so let's make a start on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a vCenter vSphere infrastructure. Okay, so we'll set up some uh, hosts here uh, which don't use DCP and if you're interested we've connected them to their own network so that they won't connect to the other hosts it's a completely new switch that we've set up for them okay so I've set it up here uh, you can pick network addresses if you're an administrator but what we'll do is we'll just power that one up and we'll power that one up and we'll power the the Viata firewall on. It shouldn't be configured yet. And then we'll open up the console for our Linux machine. And we'll open up our console for the Windows machine. Over here. And then we'll open up the Viata firewall. Okay, so that's just booting nicely there. So initially we'll just get them the the Windows and the Linux machine set up, get them configured, and then hopefully they won't be able to speak to each other. Okay, so we just there's no firewall setting on it just now, so it's just basically doing the routing. So let's type this in. Okay, so that says logged in here. And we'll do the same for our Windows machine. Okay, so that's us all set up now. We'll just pull up the configuration for the network adapter. From here. It's taken 
a little minute. Okay, so what we'll do over here is we'll just make a start on our configuration. Okay, so we're going to go for the static IP address to show the the concepts, the concept of the Beata firewall. So and its routing capabilities. So uh, if you remember, we're putting this one at dot seven. Uh, the subnet mask is two five five dot two five five dot two five five. And this is the important thing, the gateway is going to be set to be that. Okay. And then we'll just set we'll just set the DNS to be on the on the gateway. Let the gateway deal with the the DNS queries. Okay. So that one set up is uh, on the ten dot zero dot two network. Okay, that's just fine. So you see, we still see this uh, the adapter there. And then over here, what we'll do is uh, we'll just have a look to see what the name of our interface is. And this time using the right command. OK, Ethernet 8. OK, so let's go ahead and set up the IP address for Ethernet 8. 10.0.1.7 and we'll give a net mask of 255.255.255 and the interface is up. Next what we'll do is we'll, we'll add default root this is the default gateway okay so remember it's 10.0.1.254. Okay, so that's on that's on the same network as we're on, and the port of the the Viata firewall. Okay, so let's have a look at our routing table. Okay, fairly simple. Uh, the default root. Uh, anything with a local network goes to Ethernet 8 without a gateway. Anything else gets sent to 1.254 and hopefully our firewall will be able to pick it up. Okay, so first thing we do is we ping our own port and see if we can remember what it is. And that's fine, so everything's good there. Let's see if we can get connectivity to the other node. And obviously not okay because we're on a different network we don't get any connectivity between them okay so same should happen remember this is the the two network so let's try and ping 10.0.2.7 that's our own port that's fine and now let's try for the linux machine nothing okay so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll set up the Beata firewall okay so it's just the standard login of Beata that's us in okay we, we can show the configuration just uh, just try tab and it will complete the, the command so we can see here the ports themselves Ethernet 1 0, 1 and 2, only have hardware addresses, nothing else has really been set up. Okay, so let's have a look at what we need to configure for our firewall. Okay, so we do configure. There we do. Set, so at any time you can just put a question mark in and it will show you what the set commands are. So in this case, we're actually going to set the interfaces. So again, just put in a question mark, and we're going to set up Ethernet. 
and again we can look at the interfaces, so it's Ethernet 0. Okay, so next it's address. And our E0, so up here, E0, e over here, is here, is 10.0.200.0.254. Five four slash twenty four. Okay. Any time if we want to get rid of that address, we do delete interfaces and so on. So we'd, we'd recall. So if you use the up and down arrow, you can actually bring back the commands again. So Ethernet one is one dot two five four. One dot two five four slash twenty four. That's Ethernet 1. And then Ethernet 2 is on the 2 network. OK. This is looking good. It's OK. So we've got uh, our IP addresses set up. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll just set the gateway. Set system. We can have a look at the, the system settings. But it's a gateway, and this will be the place that the Vieta firewall sends all its all the data packets that it that it can't root. It's not in its routing table, and that's fine. Okay, so it still won't work when we go back here. Uh, the reason it won't work. Move it to ping again. Okay. No connectivity. It says host destination unreachable means there's something not quite right on with the routing. So what we need to do is to commit. Okay, so that commits it. We'll just have a look at our configuration. And there we go. So we can see there that we have our IP addresses set. Just let's check that they're all okay. And that one's okay. And that one's fine. Oops. Let's just quit that. And we can also show our interfaces. Okay, so Ethernet 0 is correct. Ethernet 1 is correct. And Ethernet 2 is correct. Okay, so hopefully now um, we should be ready to go. Ah, fantastic. So we now have connectivity. So if you see that uh, we couldn't get it before, now it's going through the firewall in there. So now if we look over here for our Windows machine. Let's ping the Linux machine. Ah, oh, isn't that fantastic? Okay, so we now have connectivity, and hopefully there's there's a firewall running, there's a web server running on each of the machines. So let's see, we've got no firewall with inside the the Vieta firewall just now, so it's just really routing. Okay, so that's that's going onto the Linux machine. So now that's routing, and we're getting that to actually work now. Okay, so what uh, we can do the same on the, on the Linux end. So just to show that, that there isn't any smoke and mirrors in here, what we'll do is we'll actually disable one of the so I'll show you how to get rid of the IP address. So let's say we want to get rid of that one. We want to get rid of the IP address. So let's delete it. Okay, so remember commit, exit. So let's show our interfaces. Okay, so Ethernet 1 doesn't actually exist anymore. So if we go back here, let's try and ping. 
and nothing. Okay, so we've disabled our firewall, disabled the port. So if we go to our Windows machine, again, no connectivity to the Linux machine. And you've got to watch this. So if you go to your web browser, it looks everything's okay, but actually it's in the cache. So just, just refresh, just press Alt, Control, and you should find, just keep spinning. So we've lost the connectivity to that root. So it's obviously not working. So what we'll do is we'll go back in again, and what we'll do is set up the interface again. Quite easy. Just go back in and we'll set up, put it back in with our set interface. You can see it's still spinning over there. There we go. And remember, commit. So don't don't just put the commands in. Just remember just commit. Okay. So if we go back here. Ah, there we go. There we go. We have our connectivity again. Okay, working perfectly there. And that should do that. Okay, so that's how to set up the, the Viata firewall. So just, just to so that you it's reinforced what we actually did there. We'll go back to our setup. Okay. We the first things that we do on our firewall is set up the interfaces. Set up the gate default gateway, commit it, and everything should be fine from from now on in terms of routing. So it should be able to know where the networks are. The next thing we do is we go to the hosts, we set them up with an IP address, could be by DHCP, but we did it by a static IP address. And then we set the subnet mask. And then the key thing is that we've got to remember to set up the default gateway. Okay, default gateway is always the router port that we're connecting to. Okay, because all that happens, you see in the default routing table, if it's for something on our own network, it just gets sent directly because we all connect. But it's for if it's for another network, it gets sent to the router port here. Router port picks it up and says, ah, I know where, how to get to that network, and then sends it over here, and then it sends on to the to the node in question using ARP. Okay, so so that's that's uh, that's an important thing, and the same again for our Windows machine here. We set up the default gateway actually there. Okay, and uh, what we should see is uh, when we look at it, if we look at our ARP caches, okay, so we can see in our ARP cache, then it has learnt the 2.254. Uh, if we just remember the EF in the end, so let's have a look at our Viata firewall and go back into here. Okay, there it's there. So that address is there, that's what it's actually learned. So the Windows machine can learn from the Ethernet 2 address, that's its default gateway. And then if we go to the other one, okay, so it's learned uh, its gateway with an E0 at the end, and there it's there. Okay, so so the ARP is very important uh, because that's how it discovers the MAC address of the of the gateway. Okay, so that's our basic setup for our Viata firewall.